Here are our top five stories of the week. Number five, Honda, Tokuyama, and Mitsubishi Corporation to conduct joint demonstration of decarbonizing data center using byproduct hydrogen and stationary fuel cell power station designed to reuse fuel cell systems from FCEVs. Honda, Tokuyama, and Mitsubishi are collaborating on a green data center project aiming to reduce economic burden by reusing automotive fuel cell systems in stationary applications. NATO supports the demonstration project in Shunin City, Japan, promoting hydrogen society and regional hydrogen utilization technologies, focusing on byproduct hydrogen reuse from Tokuyama's electrolysis business. The project aims to decarbonize data centers using byproduct hydrogen and fuel cells, enhancing digital transformation, and exploring clean power opportunities both domestically and internationally. Number four, Alstom to supply first hydrogen trains to the Italian region of Puglia and second order of trains in the framework agreement with Lombardy. Ferrovi del Sud Est, FSE, orders two Caradia Stream H hydrogen trains from Alstom, marking Puglia's first hydrogen powered trains, supporting Italy's shift from diesel. Ferrovi Nord Milano, FNM, places a second order for two Caradia Stream H trains, adding to the existing framework agreement for a total of 14 sustainable trains. Alstom's Caradia Stream H, designed for the European market, produces zero direct CO2 emissions when using green hydrogen, advancing local innovation, and reducing carbon dioxide emissions in public transport. Number three, Ballard announces new long-term supply agreement with NFI and purchase order for 100 fuel cell engines for bus deployments in North America. Ballard Power Systems and NFI Group signed a long-term supply agreement, marking a new phase in their partnership for fuel cell-powered buses. NFI ordered a minimum of 100 FC Movia Plus, modules for delivery in 2024, emphasizing deployment across the U.S. and Canada. The agreement reinforces NFEI's commitment to Ballard, leveraging your partnership's best practices for advancing fuel cell bus offerings in response to the growing demand for zero emission transportation. Number two, Plug Power completes first installation of electrolyzer at Amazon Fulfillment Center. Plug Power installs one megawatts electrolyzer at Amazon's Colorado Fulfillment Center, producing low carbon hydrogen for 225 fuel cell powered forklifts. The electrolyzer supports up to 400 forklifts, compresses hydrogen on site, and stores it for efficient use, aligning with Amazon's decarbonization goal. Plug's project demonstrates end-to-end -end hydrogen solutions, utilizing surplus renewable electricity, reducing emissions from liquefaction and transportation. Number one, successful launch, Nikolai produces 42, wholesales 35 hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks for customers in the United States and Canada in 2023. Nikola Corporation produced and wholesaled 35 Class 8 hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks in 2023, with a total production of 42, marking a significant achievement in the zero emissions transportation sector. Nikola's US-designed FCEVs offer long-range, efficient, and environmentally friendly solutions for commercial trucking with fueling times as low as 20 minutes. Nikola CEO Steve Gursky praised the team and partners for their successful FCEV customer pilot programs, highlighting 98% truck uptime and their commitment to cleaner, reliable North American delivery. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We invite you to like, comment, and share with others that may like our content.